it needs a bit more salt. How many players does it take to make the perfect salad? And how long time does it take? Well, according to Point Salad, it takes around 2 to 6 players and about 15 to 30 minutes of gameplay. Of course, depending on how many people you are making this salad. This game is a card drafting game where you compete against the other players to craft the best salad. You do this by gaining the different recipes and getting the most points at the end of the game. Today I'm going to show you the setup of this game and I'm going to show you how to play the game. So once you have watched this video, you are ready to go out there and start cutting some salads. Before we start doing the setup, we need to see how many players we are. Because depending on how many players we are, we need to remove a certain amount of vegetables. If we are two player, we should remove six of each of the different vegetables. If we are three players, we should take away nine. If we're four players, we should take away six. Five players, three. But if we are six players, we should not remove anything. The cards that we do not use in this game goes back into the box, face up so the other players can't see which points we have removed. The cards that we still have left on our hand is shuffled really good. And then we place them in three roughly equal size draw piles with the point side facing up. Now we need to take two cards from each draw pile and place them face up beneath the draw piles. This is the vegetables market. At random, choose a starting player. That was the setup of the game. It goes quite, quite fast, and it really leaves you with the option to play multiple games at a night. You could do like a little tournament here, because it takes so little time to tear down, it takes so little time to actually play the game, and it also takes so little time to set it up again. So you could easily play two, three games at an evening without even having to sweat. Now, this game is played out with each player taking their turn drafting cards. Starting with the first player that has been chosen at random. I love when you choose a first player at random. So you don't have to go through age or what you lastly ate or what color your car is. It's just a bunch of weird things there to figure out who's the first player. So randomly does it quite good for me. Anyway, what a player can do during their turn is of course to draft cards. And they have two choices. They can choose one of the face up point cards in one of the three draw decks. Or take two of the faced up vegetable cards in the market. Once you have chosen your cards, you simply place them in front of you. When you have drawn your cards and you feel more or less happy about them, it's time for you to refill the market. And we do this quite simply by just drawing one card from the corresponding column that you have emptied and simply refill it again. If you ever empty out a pile from the point cards drawed piles, you take the biggest pile and split it roughly in half. But you remove the lowest part, leaving the top part from the deck that you have just split in half, so the points do not change. Now the turn goes over to the next player, because you have done your turn. But the players actually have one last option. Because once per turn, you may actually flip over one of the point cards that you have either acquired this turn or on a previous turn and turn them into a vegetable instead. You can see what vegetable it is by looking in the corners. So for example, this player could choose to take this point card and turn it into an onion instead. When all of the cards from the market and from the draw piles are emptied, the game ends and it's time for us to go in to see who has the most scores. But how do you count scores with vegetables? Well in Point Salad there is a bunch of ways for you to score, as there is many different point cards. But this one here for example says that if you have the most onions you will gain 10 points, 
But this one here says if you have the fewest amount of tomatoes, you will get 7 points. Here you would get 4 points for each pepper, but you get minus for each onion and carrot. Here, for example, you get 8 points if you have 1 carrot, 1 onion and 1 pepper. But this will count multiple times. So if you have 2 carrots, 2 onions and 2 peppers, this card will be times 2 instead of just 1, 8 points. Once you have calculated the points, you have a winner. But if you have a tie, the winner that played out their turn, the last, is the winner. Meaning that they're simply just a bit more lucky in life than the other player. If you like card drafting games where you count scores and you might even have a little tournament with your friends, this game is quite perfect for you. It's really easy to learn, it's really easy to play, and it's really easy to get the hang of. But it's not that easy to actually get the most points, because you really need to balance between taking out the point cards here and getting the right vegetables. And there are a lot of different choices for you here and different ways to win. The strategy, I think at least, is to pick these ones first. Because then you kind of have a goal on what you want to hoard later in the game. Because if you just start to pick different kind of vegetables, you, well, you don't really know if you will use them or not. As it's actually the point cards that matters in the end. The artwork in this game is quite simply made and really leaves no room for misunderstanding. Which I like because this is not a thick, heavy, complicated game. This should be as simple as possible to just be able to be played by many different players. There you have it my board brothers and sisters, that's how you play Point Salad. This is a little joyful bundle game and you can carry it with you everywhere. I mean you can even play this on an airplane, I think, it takes a little bit of room, but on a camping site or on a little trip where you just go out on the beach or anything, this will be great. If you do not live in Sweden because it is so windy here in Sweden, so the cards would probably end up in Denmark instead. But if you live in a good country where the wind does not blow, hey, bring this with you to the beach. It's a quite fun, easy little game. And I enjoy this game quite a lot. I mean, this is not really my type of game. I like miniatures, I like dungeon crawlers, I like these big epic games. But for me, this did the trick. If you just want to bring something up on the table to play with your friends quite quick, this is a good little game. If you want to know more about the game, there will be links down in the description, so be sure to check that out. If you like my channel people, if you like the contents I'm making here, please subscribe to the channel and please leave a comment for me. Tell me what your favorite salad is. I don't know, just tell me about it, why not? And until next time people, please keep on spreading that board gaming love I know you all have. Peace.